The definition of parallel lines is such that if two lines have the same slope, then they are parallel. The other way of saying that is, if the two lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. Take a look at this. Given the equation y equals 2x plus 3, the line, if you graph it, will look like that. Notice the slope is 2. If you have y equals 2x minus 1, a different equation, the slope is 2. Therefore, if you draw the line, they are going to be parallel to each other. A third one, y equals 2x minus 4. Once again, the slope is 2. Therefore, if you draw the line, that line will be parallel to the other two lines as well. Here's an example where if you're given the equation y equals negative 2 over 3x minus 3, and we want to find the equation of a line that's parallel to that line and contains the point negative 6, 2. First of all, since the slope of the given line is negative 2 over 3, then the parallel line will have the slope of negative 2 over 3 also. So we'll begin by writing the equation y equals negative 2 over 3x plus b where b is the y-intercept where we don't know yet. However, we could find the value of b by plugging in one of the points that's on the line, where in this case is going to be negative 6, 2. So we have 2 for the value of y, and we'll plug in negative 6 for the value of x plus b, where we could go ahead and reduce this by Canceling, canceling off the 3 and the 6 and making that into a negative 2. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, making the value of b equals negative 2. Then our final answer, or the equation of the graph that's parallel to the line y equals negative 2 over 3x minus 3, is going to be y equals negative 2 over 3x minus 2. Then, what about perpendicular lines? The definition says that if a non-vertical line is perpendicular to another line, then the slopes of the lines are negative reciprocal of each other. Meaning, if the slope of a line is a over b, then slope of another line that's perpendicular to it will be negative b over for example, if we're given y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals negative 1 half x minus 3, notice that the slope here is 2, whereas the slope here is negative 1 half. So it's negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore, these two lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. Let's use this in a problem. If we're given y equals negative 2x plus 4 and we want to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line that contains the point negative 2 comma 5 then first we need to find the slope of the line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 2x plus 4. Slope of negative 2x is going to be negative 2 which we can rewrite it as negative 2 over 1 and negative reciprocal of negative 2 over 1 is going to be 1 so slope of the new line that's perpendicular is going to be 1 half. So let's begin by saying y equals 1 half x plus b as the equation of the line that's perpendicular to the given line. And then to find the wider step, we'll plug in negative 2 for x and 5 for y. Like that where 1 half and negative 2 will be negative 1, giving us the value of b as 6. Then our final equation of the perp perpendicular line will be y equals 1 half x plus the y-intercept that we just found, or 6.